12.40 a.m. Drank my remaining ayahuasca. Really only enough for Mao inhibition and maybe a DMT buzz. Took about one-third hit of star's acid. 1.40 a.m. Wish I'd taken more acid. Too late to do more, so I take about one-fifth of a crown MDMA pill. I figure, combining sub-active levels, well, definitely beyond a buzz dose, of three drugs, I can, paint, an interesting pharmacological picture. 1.52 a.m. I'm sucking on a sliver, maybe one quarter hit, of acid. Time to enjoy some music and wait for fireworks. 2.26 a.m. I'm not tripping unusually hard, but I'm pretty high. It's predominantly an acid, harmala trip, but there's no visuals. Music, on the other hand, is absolutely beautiful. And it's emotionally a very powerful trip. That's probably mostly due to set, but there may be enough MDMA in this body of mind to be playing a role. I was listening to Bob Dylan. Shelter from the Storm came on, which has always reminded me of an old ex-girlfriend, Kay, a relationship that ended when she went away to college, though we maintained a friendship for years after, but particularly reminded me of her tonight. Kay. God, she meant so much to me. She was so pivotal in the course of my life. It's been around a year since I've spoken to her. All I've got is a stack of letters, physically. But inside, I've got a lot from her. She taught me a lot about life, most importantly, how to be loved. I want to go read those letters. 4.03 a.m. I've spent the last hour and a half, that's all. In a universe where music, thought and physical sensation fuse into realms of unimaginable beauty. I feel a loss now, with the lights on and headphones off. Of course, I'm noticing the visuals now. Mild, but they're, mostly acid-like but there is a definite nystagmus, so the MDMA is playing a role. It definitely is mentally. I can't say if the ayahuasca is there. This mostly feels like a good acid trip. I did read Kay's letters, which was quite powerful. I traveled memory lanes too long neglected. Walking around Old Town Alexandria, laying under the stars at the Waterfront Festival, holding hands on the metro. She taught me so much about life and love. I remember her one afternoon in Old Town, talking to a homeless drunk with more human compassion than he'd probably ever seen. That was a defining moment in my life. It was poignant that one of her letters was a Valentine's card. I never realized what I had. K, wherever you are, bless you. I owe you so much more than I ever thanked you for. 5.14 a.m. This is a pretty strong trip. Very mental. My mind wanders everywhere. The visual aspect is minor, but the rest more than makes up. I think the peak's passed, and I hope I'll be able to sleep before too long, but I'm going to enjoy the rest of the trip. I feel such joy. When I stop writing, I notice I'm tripping very hard. I'm tripping harder than the drugs can account for, I think. This is too beautiful to waste by writing. Not that writing is ever a waste. But for now, I've better ways to spend my energies.